A very warm welcome. I'm Akanksha Swaroop. Now, China's President Xi Jinping has reappeared. This news is significant, especially after rumors of a coup inundated social media on Friday. But on Tuesday, Xi Jinping lay all those rumors to rest. This as he was shown visiting Beijing's exhibition hall on the state television in China. The theme of this exhibition was forging ahead into the new era. And Chinese president used it to make a point just days before the 20th party congress meet of the CCP. Now, Xi Jinping was accompanied by state leaders and senior members of the Communist Party of China. This is the image shared by Xinhua, China's state news agency. As you can see, Xi is surrounded by Chinese Premier Le Keqiang, other senior Politburo members, Li Jianshu, Wang Yang, Wang Haning, Zhao Leji and Hang Zheng. So what was the point of this outing? To put it simply, the appearance was a concerted effort by Xi Jinping to be seen along with senior members of the CPC. Only to quash rumours of a reported rift within the Communist Party of China. This as Xi is expected to receive a third five-year term at the National Congress beginning October 16. Moreover, during his visit, the Chinese president has emphasised on his quote-unquote new victory of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Basically, Xi Jinping used the exhibition to seal his presence and send out a message loud and clear that he's here to stay. Now, you may want to know how the rumours began. Several unverified social media accounts started sharing claims of a military coup in China last week. In fact, a Twitter account called New Highland Vision with over 20,000 followers tweeted on September 22nd. It said that former Chinese President Hu Jintao and former Premier Wen Jiabao had persuaded Song Ping, the former member of the Politburo Standing Committee, to take the control of the Central Guard Bureau from Xi Jinping. Now, it also said that when she learnt of this, he returned from Samarkand on 16 September. As per the tweets, the president was held at the Beijing airport and placed under house arrest. However, Twitter users added that they had not verified this claim yet. Interestingly, these rumours began soon after senior security officials were jailed for corruption in China. In fact, the rumours were fueled further with reports of few flights in and out of Beijing. There were also claims that trains and buses had been cancelled. Videos were shared on social media claiming that a large military column was heading towards the Chinese capital. Even though later, this video of the troop movement was found to be unrelated. And eventually, it was Georg Farion, the Beijing correspondent of the German newspaper, Der Spiegel, who posted pictures of Tiananmen Square and other major venues in Beijing. The man shared satirical tweets on the coup, making for a hilarious thread. Now, it should be noted that rumours of Xi's disappearance from public view is not a first. Similar rumours have been abuzz in the past as well. And here's why a coup against Xi remains an unlike possibility. And here's why a coup against Xi remains highly unlikely. This because the People's Liberation Army in China is firmly under the grip of the Chinese Communist Party. If there is ever a coup against Xi, it would be led by the political leaders and not the military. A potential coup will have very different signs of political upheaval. And by the way, flight cancellations don't reflect the chaos that will follow such a scenario. It's not surprising why the Chinese president, during his exhibition visit, emphasized on the role he has played in redefining China. She stressed that since the 18th CPC National Congress in 2012, the CPC Central Committee has united and led the whole party the country and the people in solving many challenging problems that were long on the agenda but never resolved. And to jog your memory a bit, it was in 2012 that Xi Jinping came to power in China.